My name is Rohan Murphy from Long Island, New York. I was born with deformed legs. At the age of four, my parents, my doctors decided that it'd be best if I had my legs amputated. Growing up without legs, I still love sports, but obviously I couldn't play most sports now, like soccer and baseball. Thankfully, my eighth grade phys ed teacher introduced me to the sport of wrestling. I knew deep down inside if I kept on working at it and if I trained really hard, I could be really successful. And after high school, I walked onto the Penn State team and now I go to schools and I share my story with students all across the country. The main thing that I want kids to get out of my story when I go to school and speak is that I want them to really just outline their life in pencil, not pen. What I mean by that is don't be afraid to fail in life. Be willing to take a risk. Be willing to move. I meet kids that tell me they're afraid to go out for the basketball team because they're afraid they might not make it. They're afraid to apply to their favorite college because they're afraid they might not get accepted. I tell them all the time that losing doesn't make you a loser. Failing doesn't make you a failure. And I've been able to really achieve great things in life because I've always been willing to take a risk and I haven't been afraid to fail. I'm heading today to the WWE headquarters. I'm going to meet up with my buddy, Eric Legrand. Looking forward to it. Should be a great experience. Rohan didn't always live life with the ease that he does today. He struggled to fit in. But now, he knows no limits. And positivity is his signature move. You can definitely see it in action when he hits the gym. For me, working out, I guess you could say it's my sanctuary. Nothing bothers me when I'm in the gym. It's just me and the weights. This is uh, the shoulder shocker. We're gonna do all three front raises for eight, right into lateral raises for eight. Perfect. And then upright row, rotate, and then press. First three exercises we did are our big kind of Triple H approved as far as things that we work on constantly. It's like training any other pro athlete. I mean, he's a beast. He's doing the same stuff that Triple H is doing, so uh, he has impressed me greatly. What's up, man? Trip, what's happening? How you doing? I'm good, how are you, man? Nice, thanks. Things are great, can't yeah, complain. Yeah? Finish strong. Three more, you're done. Good, last one. Nice, good job. Well, how you doing? Rohan. Hey man, Rohan Murphy, good to meet yeah. you. How you doing? Great. You doing all right? Hell yeah. Giving him some of your favorite exercises, doing some chain push-ups, some shoulder shockers, all your favorites. Well, you look like you're not gonna have a problem with yeah, any of these things you're doing. Trying, trying. Yeah, I don't think you're out of shape. <laughs> I was asking Ro how he got started wrestling. He just one day started to demonstrate to me how I could take someone down, how I could pin someone without legs, and I told him, wow, this is amazing. You did it change your perspective on a lot of things? It changed my life. Were you already a positive person in some aspects? No, nah, probably very negative. Very negative, just very down on life that I couldn't really just live my life like anyone else. And that just changed it for you. Yeah, once I found wrestling, I felt lucky. I felt like I was blessed. Yeah. I was able to play a sport finally, and somehow, some way, I was gonna be good. Much like you, right? I mean, tragic situation that many people could take and turn into something very negative and to be able to turn it into something more. I tell kids all the time, no excuses, short and sweet. If you want something in life, go get it, go earn it, go achieve it. When we look for talent, one of the first things we look for is the right human being. And I think that positivity is a big point of it. I think when you look at the positivity that comes out of both of these guys, it sort of puts your world in perspective. I, I would love if WWE can use our platform to help to push their cause, because I feel like anybody in any walk of life can learn from them. Before we left the gym, Triple H invited the two of us to SummerSlam. And as a bonus, we were asked to speak to the WWE's best talent, Stage right now, here with Eric, meeting so many people. Nick Foley from Long Island, New York, we got to meet Stephanie McMahon. The legend, Rick Flair, it's just been awesome. You can always learn something wherever you are. Rohan has taught me that the only disability in life is a bad attitude. <laughs> 